Hello everyone. The problem is, what is the velocity, the speed of an electron, which the kinetic energy is twice its rest energy? Well, we know that the total energy is equal to gamma mc squared. And the total energy is equal to the kinetic energy plus mc squared. In other words, the kinetic energy is gamma minus 1 times mc squared. Here we have that the kinetic energy is twice the rest energy. And then gamma minus 1 is equal to 2 and the gamma is 3. Well, we need to know the velocity. The velocity u in terms of the velocity of light in vacuum, c, which is called beta. So what is this value for an electron under this condition? Well, gamma is 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared c squared. If we square both sides, then we will have, of course, this is equal to 1, and then we can write 1 minus u squared over c squared as equal to 1 over gamma squared. And 1 minus 1 over gamma squared is equal to u squared over c squared. And then u over c is the square root of 1 minus 1 over gamma squared. Now, if gamma is equal to 3, then we have that u over c will be 1 minus 1 over 9 on the square root, and this is the square root of 8 over 9, which is equal to 2 times the square root of 2 over 3, which is 0.94. So, an electron, which the kinetic energy is twice its rest energy, will have a velocity which is approximately 94% of the velocity of light C. And if we use R, we, we know that the, the beta, which is U over C, is equal to the square root of 1 minus 1 over gamma squared. And then, if we create a script, let us use the name speed for a certain gamma, and we can create a function beta. The parameter of this function will be gamma, and the function is the square root of the square root of 1 minus 1 over gamma squared. So this is the function. Let me save and now if we calculate the beta, the velocity, with respect to the velocity of uh, light in vacuum, C, of um, a gamma which is 3, then 
we obtain 94% of C. I mean, beta is 94.94 and the velocity is 94% of C. If beta is calculated for a gamma being equal to 2, then it is 87%. And if you create a gamma vector, which is a sequence from 1 up to 10 by 0.1, then we can plot this gamma and the beta for this vector gamma and maybe we want the type of the plot is uh, a line and then we obtain we obtain this plot this is gamma and this is the velocity with respect to c and if beta if gamma is 2 then we obtain something right over here, less than 0.90, which is 0.87. If gamma is 3, then it's going to be somewhere here, the beta, which is more than 90%, which is the 94%, and so on. So this is the plot for the function beta as a, a function of gamma. Now, if we come back to here, we can see that there is no dependence on the mass of the particle. So here we are saying, we are asking the velocity of, what, what is the velocity of, of an electron, which the kinetic energy is twice its rest energy. But it, the, the answer does not depend on the mass of the particle. So if we ask, what is the velocity of a proton, which the kinetic energy is twice its rest energy, the answer will be the same. The answer will be the same. There is no dependence on the rest energy. So the, the only thing is gamma is equal to 3. And there is no dependence on the mass. Okay? So this is important. If we ask for a completely different particle, the answer will be the same. Thank you.